Hello guys and welcome to my first tutorial. All of us are trying to cope up with the new norm since this pandemic started. Others making themselves busy with TikToks or online games. While me, here I am taking this video to share with you some of the things that I enjoy doing and rewarding at the same time as this could be potentially a startup business to some of you. So for those who are looking for some ideas for business, look no further as I will be teaching you how to do sublimation and mugs. Here are the materials and tools that are needed. Sublimation mugs, mug press or press machine, printer with sublimation ink and sublimation paper, thermal tape and cutter, ruler and cutting mat, and of course laptop. Let's start by creating our own design. For this tutorial, we'll be using an A4 size paper. Make sure that the resolution is set to 300 pixels per inch. And uh, since the printer is using CMYK inks, then we need to select CMYK colors to color mode. You can maximize the use of your paper by fitting into the designs. You can put some guide with the 9cm gap each. In this case, every design should be 21cm by 9cm. For today's example, uh, we'll make some Fortnite Fire Mug since all the characters are available on the internet. I have also copied some designs on the internet uh, earlier to make it faster to show you immediately how I maximize the paper. Now that we are all set, uh, we can now proceed with our printing. Make sure to choose the right printer, uh, especially if you have two or more printers installed on your computer. Mm, I rename my printers as per the ink so I can identify them immediately. In settings, uh, make sure to choose the right paper size. In my case, I'm using Epson Matte as my paper type and select high as quality. However, the printouts will still depend on how you calibrate your printer with your computer. Next, click more option tab. Then select mirror in additional settings. You can also mirror in Photoshop instead of choosing these options. You can choose either way, just make sure that the image will come out in a reverse position. And guys, uh, make sure that you're using a sublimation paper and to print on the correct side of the paper. Front side should be the smoother part of the paper. And if you're in doubt, you can test by dropping a small amount of paper in any corners. As you can see, front side will not have any damage as it's sublimated while the back side is softened and a bit rough to touch. Cut the paper as for the design and paste it on the mug. Make sure that the mug surface is clean before placing it and uh, use a thermal tape to keep the paper in place. This is the mug press machine. I bought it a year ago. Um, you can find different kinds of press machine in the market. And you can buy as per your needs or requirements and budget. This is the lever. Uh, make sure that the mug will fit properly in this before you switch it on. Mm, here's the power button and the control buttons of the temperature and timer. You can press these buttons to set up the correct combinations. This is the rubber pad and the thermal plate. Um, there are different types of pad depends on the material that you will press. It's so easy to remove, you just need to loosen up, then remove this pad. Just be careful with the cable, uh, see the difference? This is more thicker than this one. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to use the thinner one because this is more suitable for 11 ounce mugs. Instead of buying two different machines, uh, I just bought an extra pad to change it in case I needed the other one. Uh, it can cover the whole design which is necessary to transfer the design properly. Make sure that the paper is pr uh, properly placed with the thermal tape. This thicker pad has a smaller uh, circumference which is suitable for tumbler. Uh, it will not cover the whole paper if we will use this one for, uh, for this mug and as a result, you will get a blurry or faded design after you press the mug. I will show you the use of this thicker pad uh, on the other video that I am going to upload soon. For the meantime, let's put the original pad and let's proceed. Okay, did I place it properly? Okay, I think so. I recommend to check first uh, if the mug will fit properly in the machine. 
Uh, make sure that the pressure is not that loose, neither too tight to get a better result. Um, I adjust this part as needed, uh, just like what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's it is too loose, so we have to tighten this part. Um, just switch your machine on. Okay, it is heating up. Uh, wait until it reaches the right temperature that we have set up. Uh, in my case, I'm using 370 degrees uh, for the heat and 180 seconds or 3 minutes for, for the time. And just wait until it reaches your assigned settings. These control buttons uh, will help you to set the timer and the heat properly. Now that it reached 370 degrees, um, it's about time to put our mugs. Uh, as you can see, the, the temperature automatically drops after we insert the mugs. Um, this is one of the common mistakes of the other users. They don't preheat the mugs before they press the timer. If you will observe the temperature, it will drop for a certain temperature or a certain level because the mug is initially cold when we insert it in the machine. We just need to wait until it goes back to 370 degrees and once it beeps, then it will be ready. Uh, seems it's ready now. We can we can press the start button now or the square button. And see the countdown. Let's see the result after three minutes. Let's remove the paper and see the result. Be careful in handling the mug so you won't get burned. Let's wait till we press all the mugs. Um, so we're finished with the mugs with dinner colors, second mug is the ordinary white mugs, and lastly but not the least is the magic mug. Mm, the procedure is just the same as long as we're using a sublimated mugs, sublimation inks, and uh, sublimation paper.